For today's video, we will be talking about the reefer containers. I will give you a familiarization on each and every maker. Makers like the Thermo King, Carrier, Taikin, and my most favorite, Starkul. But before that, let me fix this reefer first. The unit is giving an invalid power supply. So the first thing I did is to transfer the power plug to other reefer socket. After doing this, the voltage is still fluctuating on the controller reading. So I check the supply voltage and it's giving me 450 volts. I then move into measuring the power mesh card. So I'm getting 450 volts on its input and a little bit 435 to 430 volts on its output. That is why I have decided to change the power mesh card. Again, you need to use your proper PPE when doing this and you need to switch off the unit first. It is also a good practice to put all the screws to secure this card. So after changing the card, voila! The unit went in range and ran in good condition. My all-time goal in a container ship vessel is to have a zero damage reefer. I ensure that all units are in range at all times. So far in my whole career, I only encountered four makers. These are the Thermo King, the Carrier, Taikin and my most favorite, the Starkul. Yes, Starkul is my most favorite. It is because of the simplicity of the components. All are accessible from the outside from expansion solenoid valve, your hot gas valve, the filter dryer, and some other sensors for your pressures and temperatures. The construction and arrangement of the components inside its control panel is also as simple as this. This is the easiest unit when it comes to changing the controller. And all the contactors are arranged in such a way which they have their own interlocks with each other. Mm -hmm. 
let us compare this unit to other units so that you will have a clear view on what I am saying. The most common trouble you will be facing in this unit is the evaporator motor and your frequency converter. My second favorite is the carrier. Carrier has three different models. The prime line, thin line, and the elite line. It has the same construction as in the Starcool, but the only problem is this unit uses thermostatic expansion valve. Which of course giving you a small access when changing it. And the control panel is the most simplest of them all. You can have your test points in each and every terminals. And replacement of each components are very easy. The common trouble you will be facing with carrier is the condenser fan motor and the filter dryer. The Thermoking. Thermoking has a simple construction as well. The only problem is the accessibility. It chooses thermostatic expansion valve which is located in the evaporator compartment which is very hard when it comes to replacement. It uses main relay board where all your relays are incorporated with each other. This is the most common trouble I am facing with this unit, the relays or the main relay board itself. And if that happens, you need to remove all these wirings. which I hope the Thermoking will upgrade their terminal blocks. And the least favorite is the Daikin. Daikin is most of the time ambient temperature dependent. has quite complex control panel. There is not much room for changing the contactors and other components too. As you can see, there is not much room for the control panel. You also need to swing out the controller before you can access the test points. The most common trouble in this unit is the electronic expansion valve. and the filter dryer as well.
So all in all, all these units are basic refrigeration system. They only differ in the components. I will be uploading more videos regarding reverse troubleshooting for my next videos. I hope you learned something from this vlog. Please continue to support this channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you.